Hey everybody, welcome back to the third video in my pop-up palette series. Today we're going to go over the color selector and options in the pop-up palette. So we're going to right click on our canvas and we're going to see this color wheel here. You have the outer ring and then you have the triangle, which is the same as the advanced color selector. So as you can see, every time I move the advanced color selector, it matches the colors in the pop-up palette. And the same can be said for here. As I rotate this, my color or the hue that I want, it matches, or the advanced color selector is going to match it as well. So they are one and the same. There's just two different places to select the color, which is pretty nice. And then you have these colors here. Now, as I said in the intro video, this matches your fore foreground and background color. At this time, you can't select between the two via the pop-up palette but it's good to know like hey if you're changing a color this is the current color if i switch it up here it will also switch the two colors in the pop-up palette now let's pick a color and put that stroke down i'm gonna make the stroke bigger just so we can see i don't know why that was lagging that's my bad i have other stuff playing in the background on my computer so we're going to go ahead and we're going to select a few colors. As always, I'm picking the best colors possible. Oh jeez, let me just, there we go. So I have three colors. Now if you notice, when I right click every time, this outer ring here changes. So this is showing you the last few colors that you've used. So if you don't want to keep coming over here, you can actually see it position nicely here in the pop-up palette. So we'll use a few more. And we'll just add black just to space it out. So as you can see, the more colors I've used, it, the more I can see them here. So if you use, let's say you like the blue, you can go back and select the blue, go back to using it. If you like that red, you can go back and use that, the black. It's all right there for you. It is a lot easier, a lot faster. You don't have to keep moving your brush all the way over here. You just right click, click, and continue to draw. And that's pretty much it for the color selector or the options in the pop-up palette. It's very simple, nothing too complex, but definitely makes it a lot easier. And I do find myself using it sometimes, especially when going from sketches to final line work, because sometimes um, I'll be drawing and I'm like, okay, well, I had the line work for this, but I need to go back to the pink or the purple I was using to go back and sketch some more details out and see how that looks. And it's, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it for the color selector and the pop-up palette. Hopefully this short video was still helpful to you and you can see how to use it quickly with your workflow or try and introduce it into your workflow to make things a little bit easier on yourself and a little bit faster. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment below if this was helpful or if you have other questions about the pop-up palette that I may not have addressed yet. And I will see you guys in the next video.